This is a two-part series on the practicalities of acoustic monitoring. This first part will look at equipment. This presentation assumes an understanding of the following topics, sampling rate and gain. If these topics are unfamiliar, please watch the Introduction to Digital Audio lecture before proceeding. Passive acoustic monitoring is generally conducted with autonomous recorders, so these are recording units that are made to be left in an environment for an extended period of time without direct human oversight. This type of equipment has advanced substantially in the past 10 years, and there are now different recording units that are specialized for different applications. For example, some may be optimized for very long-term use, while others permit high sampling rate or can be obtained for a low price. One of the most important features that varies among recording units is the runtime, and the runtime can vary with the sampling rate, bit depth, number of channels, the size and brand of card, the brand of battery, and the temperature. This slide presents an overview of some of the commonly available types of passive acoustic monitoring equipment. Across the top is the name of the particular unit, and then the Rows represent things like manufacturer, price, that might vary in ways that are important to your project. For different applications, different units will be a better match, but these are some of the things that often show up as being particularly important in passive acoustic monitoring projects. And you might want to pause the presentation here for a moment so that you have a chance to look at some of the different features. For example, the maximum sampling rate will determine the highest frequency that you can record and whether the unit could be used to monitor bats or high-frequency insects with an appropriate microphone. One of the key features that varies among units is the operating time, or how long the unit can run, but this depends on a variety of recording settings and operating conditions, such as the type of battery that's used, the size of card, and the recording schedule. So there's not a single number that answers this. However, if you visit manufacturer websites, you can often calculate estimates of how long the recorder would run under different circumstances. A few caveats on this information. As the equipment in this field is continuing to improve rapidly, and prices, runtime, and other features will continue to change through time. So we'll update this information periodically, but it's entirely possible that there are some new features or options available on these units at the time that you're considering them. In addition, new manufacturers continue to enter the market, and these vary greatly in reliability and service. Certain manufacturers offer specialty features that may make particular units good for particular applications. Certain manufacturers offer specialty features that may make particular units especially good for a specific application. For example, if it's very important to be able to record from multiple microphones at once or to program the recording unit with a phone. A final piece of general advice here is that microphones tend to degrade in natural environments, and the sensitivity may drop dramatically from initial specifications. So if you're looking to conduct repeated monitoring over years and through time, particularly if you want to be able to compare samples across years, it's really important to be able to replace those microphones or assess them on a regular basis. One specialty type of equipment is ultrasonic recorders. And these are passive acoustic monitoring devices that are specialized for capturing the high frequency sounds produced by bats and some insects. For effective ultrasonic recording, the equipment must be capable of high sampling rates, but it must also have a microphone that's sensitive to ultrasound, so neither alone is sufficient. A variety of suppliers manufacture this type of equipment.